for our last highlights reaction of the night, we've got the Memphis Grizzlies going out west and playing these LA Lakers. And the one story for the Lakers, their one downside this year is Anthony Davis is just looking like an all-star. Which, for most players, they love to be an all-star, but it's about the time where LeBron's getting real old. LeBron's still balling out there, but Anthony Davis, you should be stepping up to an MVP level in this season. He's kind of been chilling. But tonight, I was watching the very beginning of the game, and I saw the Grizzlies were smoking them. Then, went to watch the Bucks game, made that video, look, look back at the Lakers game, and oh boy, they're comfy. And look at the stats. Oh, AD's doing his thing. So let's figure out what type of bucks he was getting and react. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. All right. We got DeLon splashing the Brooks. You know, he's all right. Uh, I prefer Grayson myself. As a Duke fan, as a Duke fan, he's finally getting his chances and he's getting his bucks. Yeah, Jamo was, Jamo was getting it started early, getting that pop at nine zero. But for the Lakers, when you can, they're just like sleepwalking their way into games and they're still finding their way back, no problem. I said earlier, don't count the the Jazz out as a championship team, but oh, the Lakers are in their stride. They're doing it effortlessly too. Like, look at this, they're down sixteen to stinking two. Jonas in his soft spot like this Grizzlies team isn't a pushover it's not like you know you know yeah they were drinking last night I mean you can't really be out drinking during COVID and with this season but it's not like they were you know just chilling going into this game playing you know the Timberwolves or the Pistons and they're like all right we could get blown out early and just come back easily like this is a quality team John Morant Grizzlies they're respectable, and they're starting out down 22 to 4. 22 to 4. Sheesh. You could pass from Tyus Duke to Duke. Them Duke boys. You know what it is. Oh, AD's getting it started, though. The fader mag. Kyle Anderson's so cheeks, man. I don't care. Some people love him. Oh, he's so slow and fundamental. Look at his buckets. Nah, I ain't buying it, bro. That, that was a lucky shot. That was not no fundamentals. Good take from Kuz. Kuz has been hooping this year. You know, I always talk about early, early in his career, Kuz was way overrated, and I was saying it. You know, people reacted crazy because he was doing decent his rookie year, even though he was one of the oldest rookies in the league. And then after that, his expectations got way too high. And then last year, he was trash, in the, and especially in the playoffs and the finals. And oh boy, did he get fried. And now this season, I feel like he's settling into his role as an NBA player. You know, last season, in the season before, you know, there was quotes talking about, I don't know what my role is. And he, he was just like having the hopes of being a real star player because of how hyped up he was his rookie year and such. But I feel like this year is him settling into his role and really, you know, really playing well in it. So, you know, credit to him, man. Because his rookie year and his second year, they, they were kind of running it through him, acting like he was going to be their franchise guy or something. And that's kind of tough to ad adapt. But, you know, you got to credit him. Braun could turn it on at any time. I don't know whether it was a foul. And if you're a Braun, if you're a Braun uh, meat swallower, and you talk about, it was a foul. Look, he touched him here. What are you talking about? Well, just go back and watch my last video where I'm talking about how Giannis is getting calls where he's not getting fouled. Like, you guys just be like acting like, ooh, I'm a hater if I say something like criticism. Like, no, bro. I just didn't think LeBron got fouled because I know there's going to be people in my cheeks about it. People love getting inside my cheeks. My cheeks. It's not just enough to get inside my jock strap and get inside my shorts. They get all the way in my cheeks. And I've had enough of it. All right. Mark Gazel. Shout to Braun. Throw it up in 80. Haiti's just chilling, man. Like, I said their one problem or whatever worry is that AD hasn't been hooping, but you can just tell he's just chilling, which, oh my gosh, what a take. Which, don't get me wrong, that's an issue too because one day like, LeBron's going to be 40 and, you know, he might have that Tom Brady stuff in him, but at the same time, there's going to come a day, you have to imagine that LeBron isn't going to be MVP Bron, and they're going to need AD to be that guy every night and... I don't know if he's that guy. 
I think he's just like the best number two you could ever have want. He's just like an A plus number two, but as a number one, I don't see him. I mean, we saw in New Orleans, and he had some decent teams, you know, with Drew Holiday and surrounded by um, you know, some good players like Ryan Anderson back in the day. We used pretty good, you know, some decent squads, and it was never really anything. And shot from Gasol. Dish. And can finish there. Okay, no name. Tyus Jones. Give him the move. Cross still got the lead. Keep it comfy. Oh, he's tough. That is a skilled bar guard. Skilled backup PG. LeBron's just chilling this game and they're working their way back with just you know, simple. Let's just all right, let's start, you know, picking up a little bit. It's not even like going crazy or anything like that. Like, look at this. he's just jogging up the court. It's not a foul. Maybe it was a foul. Maybe he's just like so strong that like they bounce off of him and it doesn't really look like a foul. I would need to slow it down, but uh, just these aren't looking like fouls on, based on first look. Let's scoop from Tyus. Oh, he didn't even shoot his normal form with that. Oh my God. Alex Caruso's been hooping this year too. Everyone's been hooping for the Lakers. Every single player. I, don't, I can't imagine, like, Wesley Matthews hasn't been, but he's been on the bench. Like, every player that's been playing, getting minutes, has done very well in their role. Except maybe Marcus All, you know, but I was, I haven't expected anything better. Like, like I said preseason, like, if there's one issue, it's that, like, at, at, as, a, as a real center, they might want to add another one because Montrez Harrell, some matchups he can't really guard. And I don't think Marcus All still really has it at that level. So I didn't have high expectations for Marcus All. I feel like he's meeting my expectations. And everyone else is just playing really well. KCP, Schroeder. Everyone's just hooping for the Lakers right now. <laughs> Saul's getting blown by. And Jaws finishing with, finishing with the job. Midi Cheese from AD. Kuz, like what I told y'all. He's just settling into his role, making those little plays happen. Hustling, hitting the threes. Yeah, AD's you can't be you can't be putting little guys on Anthony Davis. I know he'd be chilling, but like if you have a guard on him, he's just gonna get a buck. Don't sleep on Grayson Allen. In all seriousness, that man is a good NBA player. Like he should be getting more touches on the Grizzlies. I think he's a better player than Dylan Brooks. No, I mean, yes, I'm biased, but like I actually believe that. Oh my god. Gosh. What is he, 37? 36, 37? Sheesh. Kuz, just kidding. Get your little stats up a little more. Get, add, number th add another three to it. And this one's over. 17 points with two minutes left. And now it's, I prod the highlight people for not putting in more, more plays during that two-minute stretch. <laughs> LeBron's already got the headset on before the game's over. They're just clowning this season. I, before the season, I predicted that the Clippers would be the number one seed in the West just because I felt like the Lakers would be chilling. And right now it's looking like maybe the Jazz will be the first seed, seed in the West. But they're even exceeding my ch expectations. You know, normally this record would be good enough to be first in the West, no problem. It's just that the Jazz have been playing amazing. The Lakers, they have just been chilling, coasting, and winning almost every game, just been able to pull it out, you know, overtime games, stuff like that. And I'm not, I don't have a concern about them having to turn it up at, in the playoffs or anything like that because they're still winning. It's just very impressive. They're f firing on all cylinders. I feel like everyone's playing well. For the Grizzlies, in this deep west, they need Jaron Jackson to get healthy, healthy ASAP. And if that doesn't happen, it's going to be rough. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then you got to subscribe. Please. Yes, sir.